Hi guys, I'm Dion Sue. Before the show begins, if you enjoy this video, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications whenever I release new content. Anyways, without further deliberation, let's get on with the show. Minecraft is a game with its fair share of features, but of course it could always use a quality expansion, so neither to a mod. A nice mod that expands upon Minecraft. So, let's dive down into it. Alright gents, let's start off in the best place to start, the barren depths of hell. Here the nether wastes have received an expansion, with more rock patches dotting the landscape. Around these patches you may find bits of prickly needle roots. Now whether or not these needle roots are grown from the needles behind gas stations is something best left to the imagination. However, there is a good side to these god awful plants, for you see, you can actually turn them into a needle knot, a type of bread that if eaten in the nether wastes will give extra region. It has a crunchy crust with a grainy inside. I'd say for what you got it from it's a pretty good deal. Purgers are a new and disgusting mob found within the nether wastes. They're not only hostile to players, but also piglins. However, thankfully only attack with limb punches. However, if you decide to punch these unvaccinated children, they will vomit all over you, burning through your shields and inflicting the disintegration effect. When in effect, disintegrating players will take damage as they sprint. Now, if an unfortunate piglin gets their pork pulled by a purger, they will turn into a purglin and YEP I SAID IT! 12 TROY! LET'S GO! <coughs> Anyways, these unfortunate piglins are similar to zombies, and after a while, will turn into a purger. Now, when you finally stomp one of these whiny bastards into the pavement, they may actually survive and live on. As a Zimple. Which can also be formed when a mob is disintegrated. Zimples are disgusting living landmines that, when walked onto, will burst into a plume of disintegrating acid. Now, if you decide putting it on your head is a good idea, then you can bucket it and fuse it with a leather cap and an anvil. Once war, not only will you have a parasite on your head, but you will also get speed 4 along with disintegration whenever you take damage. Of course, you can do the right thing and throw this crime against nature into a microwave and cook it into some boiled zimple. Mmm, extra oily. If you give a zimple an oak boat, it will gain a Talon MC mask. Huh, alright, and if you feed it a glass locket. <laughs> Alright, let's talk about organs, in particular the stomach and intestines. These two organs are a major part of the digestive system, along with being drops from the purger. Intestines are able to be compacted into a block of intestines that, if stood on, will give the disintegration effect. Alternatively, if crafted with a slime ball or magma cream, you will get globby acid. This in itself can be compacted into a block of slimy acid, which functions similarly to a conveyor belt. Just be aware, it does give disintegration on interaction, which means if you go too fast through it, you may not live to see the other side. Then there's the stomach, a slightly rarer drop from the purger, that on use offers a disgusting gas based double jump. Perhaps this is the reason why Scout from TF2 can double jump. Alright, capybars, everyone's favorite coconut doggy, and in twist they seem to have been imported to the nether with the bucky. They're still pretty chill, allowing baby piglins, and if you have the hit mod infernal expansion for Minecraft 1.16.5, volumes to ride their backs. However, make sure you keep your striders away from them, their tastes and meats seem to match their disposition. Chill. But that's an aside, when a bucky eats a strider, they will cough out a few chunks of strider meat, along with a few of their own teeth. Interestingly enough, if you happen to have some strider meat on you, you can actually tame a bucky and use it as a strange wandering mount. The nether forests have received an expansion, with new forms of native foliage like tall roots and coarse stalks. Along with that, there are a few new biome themed blocks, like root bales which also have a needle variant, and blocks of warped waste and crimson compost, which can be turned into bricks. Ah yes, the slug. A neutral resident of the Crimson Forest, when attacked, they will sling a ball of viscous goo, a substance that is also dropped by slugs on death. This can be used to create the slugger, a ranged weapon that uses slugs as ammo, which do high knockback. Sporals are a relative of the strider found within the warped forest. They are incapable of feeling any emotion outside of sorrow, likely since unlike the strider, they seem to burn in lava. However, by being around them, they will make you happy and give you vision. If only we could do the same. Deep within the basal deltas is the Lanker, a deadly predator they have incredible jumping abilities and possess an explosive bite. I'd say if you ever see one, it's in your best interest in no particular order to change your pants and then run off. The twist mod adds the all new and dangerous volcano biome. Here you will find a myriad of rock types including ash stone, rock crumble, and volcanic rock, 
which also will generate in the base level deltas. Make sure that if you are stepping on a volcanic rock that you haven't activated a pop rock, and if you have, run as fast as you can before it makes contact with the ground, otherwise the funeral will be closed casket. There's also G-N-E-I-S-S, -S, which is pronounced Nice. Don't ask me why it's pronounced like that, my brain has wrinkles. Which apparently generates in the caves of volcanoes, yet I can't seem to find any as of now. Outside of that, you can find blocks of lava that cause the player to hop around on them solely because they are that spicy. And last but not least, the volcanic vents, that if stepped on will launch the player. Sulfur is a pungent smelling material, found within the volcanoes and the nether. It serves as a way to acquire gunpowder without creepers, fuel source, building block, shampoo, and body wash along with replacement for ice in ice cream. In addition, sulfur can be used to create sulfur glass, an extremely fragile block that's great for making action scenes. Just make sure piglins are out of reach of any sulfur blocks, otherwise they'll convert into piglins. Jesus, why don't these guys catch a break? Peblings are native to the volcano biome. You can pick them up and throw them as slowing projectiles. And thankfully, due to thousands of tests in my lab, I have come to the conclusion that yes, they can probably survive being thrown at high speeds. I think. But that's an aside, if you want to breed your rock creatures, just feed them sulfur. Welcome to the under Chiburnt Forest and Charred Wastes, a charred biome marked by irresponsible firework use. Within these biomes, you'll find the charred remains of trees, which have a grey wood. Now, in order to get to this luxurious grey wood, you're going to have to navigate amongst the charred bones and various threats of the biome. Choice among them is the blisterberry, which, while on the surface seeming like a tasty treat, will give you the afterburn effect, which, upon completion, will give damage. I'd say solid neutral evil for this one. Howls are the charred and vindictive remains of foxes, aptly named after their habit of howling during the night. While they try to mount you, they may try to bury themselves in ash, a new type of block that can be used to create TNT to buff themselves. On death, they will drop some of their fur, which can be used to create a temporarily fire-resistant chest place that also functions as camo against pop rocks. Twist has a number of miscellaneous features, including, but not limited to, Soot, a new block reminiscent of the weird stuff at the bottom of campfires. Charred Cobblestone, another dark grey stone variety added in by Twist. And Berry Gems, which can be used to create blocks of jam. The end barons have received an expansion, with tracts of dark mold infesting the landscape. Occasionally, you may happen upon a mold mushroom, along with their fully grown giant form. Interestingly enough, their caps have a bouncy property, so use it for good. Or evil, I'm not your dad. In the skies, you may see a number of strange growths covered in water masses. These clumps have portals in their center, which seem to teleport to random points in the end. Chargers are hostile and tinky mobs native to the end, and aptly fitting their name, they will charge you and try to knock you into the cold depths of the void. On death, they may drop their horns, which can be used to create a sphere. With a spear in hand, you can deal 6 damage and have the benefits of being able to jet yourself forward for a few seconds. As a side note, Twist adds 3 new paintings into Minecraft, including The Soul Piercing Gaze of the Lanker, Portrait of Sir Charles Gurr, Esquire, 1820 and the charger. The twist mod adds a number of drinks, and I have no better authority on drinking cocktails on hand other than my good friend and bartender, Foxen. Say hi. Well, that was a ride if I've ever been on one, but before you leave, I have an announcement to make. For the past few whales, I've been working on a project, in Smith Island. 
an island isolated not only from time, but also space. And life there has taken a direction unlike any on Earth. So venture into the time anomaly, and let's take a trip to Innsmouth Island. Don't forget the wildlife. Please.